Hey editors, welcome back. Let me show you how to create a smooth zoom transition in Premiere Pro. First, set up a sequence with your videos on the timeline. Then go to Project Panel. Click on this new item button and select Adjustment Layer. Click OK, then you'll see the adjustment layer appear in the Project Panel. Drag and drop it one track above the videos. Then open the Effects Panel and search for Transform. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now go to the Effect Controls panel. Uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and manually increase the shutter angle to 360. Move the time indicator at the point of the cut between the videos. Then click the stopwatch left to scale to create a keyframe and set the value to 300 so it's nicely zoomed in. Now move five frames to the left from the point of the cut. Click on this reset button to reset the scale value back to 100. Then move to the point of the cut again and move five frames to the right and click the reset button again. Now we have three linear keyframes and we should zoom into them like this. Right click on the first keyframe to the left and select ease out. Then right click on the last keyframe to the right and select ease in. Now expand this arrow to see value in the speed graphs of the animation. And we're going to improve the velocity of them. Use the speed graph this one. That's why I'm going to expand this down to you better see the graph. Now drag and select the first keyframe here and you'll see these tiny blue handles. Drag this one to the right all the way. Just make sure that the line is straight. Then drag and select the last keyframe and drag this handle all the way to the left. Again, make sure the line is straight. And that's how the graph should look in the end. So here, if you preview the animation, you should have a very nice and smooth zoom transition. Now, if the adjustment layer is like too long and too disturbing, you can simply cut it. And that's how to create a smooth zoom transition in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed and found it valuable. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button if you learned something new and subscribe for more editing adventures. Wishing you all the best and see you in the next video.